Hi guys, it's me, Professor D, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to be covering immunizations. Um, this is a pediatric portion of immunizations. This is going to be a very short video to the point where I'm going over the Tdap, your HPV, the meningitis vaccines, Hep B series, very short to the point. So let's start with the Tdap. Look what it says. The Tdap, this is your tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis vaccine, and it's recommended for adolescents ages 11 to 18 years of age who have not received the tetanus booster, that's the TD, or the Tdap dose and have completed the childhood DTAP DTP series. Meningococcal vaccine, meningitis. I just did a video on this. The menin the menin no, I can't speak. The meningococcal vaccine should be given to adolescents 11 to 12 years of age with the booster at 16 years of age. Remember, the patients most at risk for meningitis are going to be those late adolescents, early adults. So your 18, 19, 20s, 21, 22 year olds, right? Those students who have just gone on to college and they're living in the dormitories or they're living in close confines with others, such as um, army barracks, or maybe someone who is in the prison system, anywhere where they are close quarters, they're going to be at high risk, okay? The quadrivalent HPV, the human papillomavirus vaccine, or the bivalent HPV vaccine is recommended for the prevention of cervical precancers and cancers for growth beginning at a minimum of nine years of age. Look what it says. The HPV, that's your Gardasil or Gardasil 9 vaccine is recommended for males 11 to 12 years of age, but can be given at a minimum of nine years of age. Each of the HPV vaccines is administered at a three dose series. That's important to know. It's important to follow the recommended dose intervals for optimal effectiveness. All, not just some, all adolescents who have not been previous, who have not previously received three doses of hepatitis B vaccine should be vaccinated against hepatitis B virus. Guys, don't forget that first hep B, when do you get it? In the hospital, before you're even discharged, when you are born, you get it in the hospital before you're even discharged home, okay? That's the first one. Annual influenza vaccination with either the live attenuated influenza virus or inactiv inactivated influenza vi uh, vaccine is recommended for all children and adolescents. And I think I said virus instead of vaccine, but you guys know what I meant. So let me say that again. The annual influenza vaccine, because you're supposed to get it every year, guys, that's your flu vaccine, your flu shot. The annual influenza vaccination with either the live attenuated influenza vaccine or inactivated influenza vaccine is recommended for every single child and adolescent. Now remember, the one that's live and attenuated, if that patient is immunocompromised, they can't get the live one, right? So um, let's say they're getting chemo, or they're getting radiation, or there's something else that's going on, or they're on high dose steroids. There's something going on with that patient that they are immunocompromised. They cannot get the live vaccine. That's important for you guys to know. For those with no uh, previous infection or history, the varicella vaccine, that's for chickenpox, guys, the varicella vaccine may be given in two doses, three months apart to children 7 to 12 years of age, and four weeks apart to adolescents 13 years of age and older. Oh, there you go. For those with no previous infection or history, the varicella vaccine may be given in two doses, three months apart to children 7 to 12 years of age and four weeks apart to adolescents 13 years of age and older. That um, Those are your um, immunizations. I actually plan on doing a video where I cover questions on immunizations just to make sure that you guys get an in-depth understanding. Very quick video. Let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to, to, subscribe to my channel. And I'm asking you to please help my channel, help it grow, guys by um, engaging, share it with someone, a classmate, maybe even a nursing instructor or a coworker. And don't forget guys, I have a YouTube live coming up where I'm going to be covering um, 
what am I covering, guys? I'm having a brain fart. I'm going to be covering priority and delegation. Yes, I'm going to be covering priority and delegation. It's going to be on YouTube Sunday the 21st at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, here's what's so crazy. I cannot believe this. When I first made that announcement about that live that I was going to be doing, and I showed you guys the book to go get because it's going to be much easier for you to follow along if you have the book because I cannot share my screen due to you know copyright issues i don't want to get in trouble so um i'm telling you go purchase a book so you can follow along that book was going for about 30 35 dollars when i made that announcement that book now on amazon they're asking for 65 66 dollars that is ridiculous so i encourage you if you plan on joining that live and going over those questions and those concepts try going to your local library or try going to a couple libraries see if you can check it out or maybe you can rent it or maybe you can even purchase it use at a cheaper price because them doubling the price is absolutely ridiculous i have nothing to do with that guys again guys i have no sponsorship no nothing everything that i do for you guys i do it on my own that's just what it is so i'm so sorry about that price jack but don't forget sunday the 21st 11 o'clock in the morning eastern standard time i'll be doing that live thank you so much for watching this video and you guys will catch me on more videos